what are you doing? Um, I don't know. So, let's get into Capricorn's business. What's going on? Ooh, I like that. The imagery of that card. Hello, Capricorn energy. Dang. It says, certain endings are unavoidable. They are necessary precursors to radical reinvention. Any disappointment, defeat, or loss and the negative repercussions of such experiences will not limit your future happiness, but are opening up yet unrecognized paths um, for fulfillment. Your trust must be unconditional at this time, and later you shall see that everything has worked out for the absolute best. All right, gangsters. So, it sounds like you're going through like a breakup or a split up or something. Um, or, you know, it could be a job too. You might be quitting your job. You might be trying to um, open yourself up to a new experience. Let's see. Let's dive a bit deeper. <laughs> Jeez, this card is hella trying to get out. But I ain't even shuffled yet. Ever do. I'm shuffling. Um, you know what, though? I feel very optimistic about the Dumagati. It reminds me of the Tower card a bit. Um, but the thing about the Tower is it's awesome because when things fall apart, that, that gives room for, like, rebuilding and creativity and, like, um... You know, really just improving your overall state of being, you know, like, I don't know. I've never had a bad tower. Um, I've never had a tower that I didn't, like, learn something very um, important about myself, you know. So, yay. Let's see. The Void. Dang, stop. Embrace winter, great cosmic womb. All right, this reminds me of another post I've seen recently. <laughs> I've been watching a lot of posts, as you as you know. Um, so, uh, it basically uh, says, like, when a, a caterpillar goes to be a butterfly, like, we always just kind of talk about it like it just happens, like, bam, transformation. We don't talk about the fact that when a caterpillar goes into a cocoon, it, like, completely falls apart into, like, this mushy, goopy shit, you know? And then, and then it reforms into a beautiful butterfly. But at first, it has to completely fall away, right? All the things that it isn't falls away so that it can be all that it is. Um, you know what? Since you're doing some soul alchemy, I'm going to use my hermetic tarot. Um, I love that the star is at the bottom of the deck here. Um, and I would say, you know, like for me, the star symbolism is finding that light in the darkness, the light at the end of the tunnel, um, really embracing the fact that better is to come, you know, whatever, whatever is taken from your life, like. It's for a reason, <laughs> you know, the, it, whatever doesn't work out, it's for a reason. I, you know, I often come to understand, like, maybe, like, I would have missed out on more life if other opportunities did open up for me, you know. Um, I would have, I would have missed out on some shit, or I would have been unmotivated to do all that I do, you know. <laughs> Um, because relationships can do that, you know, they can pull you away from your, um, your focus, your purpose, your drive, you know, and, like, sometimes we need, like, a season to, like, really figure that shit out and, and create boundaries so that we can continue on our, our purpose and, and have balance in our relationships. But sometimes you need to just, like, not have relationships, you know, um, to figure out your own balance first, you know? Alright. 
Um. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Gangsters. You know you all get tested so heavy because you are favored by the divine. Okay, I want you to know that before I start spewing off what these cards mean. Um, these obstacles, it's like Hercules, it's like per Perseus, you know, you're not getting the same like, like normal life as anybody else because you have a higher purpose, because you're capable of a lot more, because the spirit wants to utilize your gifts. Okay, so... Nine of Wands, Lord of Great Strength, right? Nine of Wands is very defensive energy. It's like building up walls around yourself. It's like um, not allowing people too close or too um, in, I guess. <laughs> um, and it's like because I feel like when you do, when you allow yourself to be vulnerable, you feel... Um, like, people take advantage of you, or they don't take you seriously, or they, like, um, they hurt you, right, in some way. With fortitude in reverse, it's saying something isn't working, right? And this could be in regards to your job, or in regards to, you know, relationships, or whatever. Um, so, whatever this is, if it's a job, or a relationship, or, you know, I would say friendships, but really, in reality... <laughs> Friendships, like, aren't that extreme, you know? Um, if you have, like, a beef with your friends, it's not like you're going to build up a whole wall, a whole emotional wall and be like, I'll never have friends again, you know? But, like, I feel like this is a little bit more than that, you know? This is more like a job or a relationship. This is something very prominent. Knight of Swords. I do see communication coming in. Um... And it might be cutting, you know, it might be, um, it might come off as sharp or abrasive, um, or just straight up, you know, sucks. <laughs> um, yeah, the hermit in reverse, um, that's kind of saying like, you know, don't be afraid to like come out of your shell after this situation, don't let this be something that makes you, like, revert inside and, and, like, dwell on it or beat yourself up over it. This is not something that is your fault. This is just a series of events that needs to take place. Um, with the death card in reverse, I do see resistance to letting this end, you might, like, try to, uh, revisit this or keep it going, um, you might, you know, be like, no, it ain't over yet, <laughs> we, we trying to work on this shit, you know, um, and that's perfectly stubborn Capricorn energy, right, um, which could be the same with your job, you know, like, you might be like, no, I'm gonna try to work through this, try to make this work, even though it fucking sucks, um, so let's see. The universe, all right, so the universe is speaking to you. I feel like you could be um, getting downloads or receiving numeric messages or something, you know, really hearing from the divine lately. The blasted tower, bro, I told you, I fucking told you about the tower energy right as we fucking started this fucking reading. I knew it, I felt it, and I feel like this is the tower that it's okay if you're the one pushing it over. Okay, like I want you to feel reassured in that if you feel called to push over a fucking tower, push over a fucking tower. Okay, like um, I do see Zeus's lightning bolts coming out in this one, right? And I feel like you know this is like a divine intervention on a situation that doesn't serve your highest good. Um, Seven of Swords in reverse, it's telling you to lay down your swords and don't be, don't be resistant to change in your life at this time. Don't be resistant to the flow of, of events, just understand them. Be in a state of patience and understanding, okay? <clears throat> the stars in reverse. See, when I saw it on the bottom of the deck, it was in the upright. The stars in reverse right now, and that I feel like indicates... Kind of 
like seeing into the void a little bit and struggling to find that light at the end of the tunnel but it is there it is there to every tower <laughs> there is like every to every tower it's always followed up by the sun or like you know it's always like like there's always like a really great day after that or you know like you know to every ebb there's the flow <laughs> you know kind of thing it's um it's just how it goes wheel of fortune in reverse you might feel like you're gonna be disappointed okay like this is not how you saw things and like going um it's not how you wanted things to go why is this happening Because you asked for peace with the two of swords. You asked for peace. Guess what, chicken butt? When you ask for peace, prepare for war. Okay? You have to fight for those things. Um, when you start trying to find inner peace, that means that all chaos has to be able to erupt in your life and you are able to stay peaceful within whatever happens. You know, like you're supposed to hold on to the peace, you know, during the most turbulent shit, right? Um, so if you've been asking for peace, the universe is like, well, this is kind of bringing you to it. This is, the universe always takes the path of least resistance, right? So <laughs> it's really like fast tracking you into this state of being or into this, um, into your manifestations, but, like, you can't be resisting against your own manifestations, you know, because then it's, like, the universe doesn't know what to do. It's, like, do we give you what you want, or, you know, do you know what you want? Um, because what you're asking of the universe is in your words, your actions, and your thoughts. They all need to be in alignment towards what you actually want. Knight of Pentacles. I see things coming in for you. New offers. Um... King of Wands in reverse. Um, you may feel like lied to, or you may feel like um, like something wasn't fair. Two of Wands. This puts you at a crossroads. Right? You're really like, what the fuck do I even do? Um, King of Pentacles, get that coin. Get that coin. That's you, bro. Okay? King of Pentacles. Um, so, really, that could be you sitting in that King of Wands in reverse energy also. Like, not facing something. Or not wanting to face something. With the King of Pentacles, King of Earth, right? Um, this does... This is heavy divine masculine energy, whether you're male or female, it doesn't matter. It means that you are meant to, like, like, your whole mindset is an expansion and progress and growth. And anything that doesn't, that isn't in alignment with that, anything that wants to be stagnant or complacent isn't going to move forward with you. And that, that includes jobs, you know. <clears throat> Three of Swords, um... It kind of goes back to that disappointment. Why? It's like... Why? Ten of Swords. In most decks, um, especially like the Rider Weight deck and um, pretty much most decks, um, you would find in the Ten of Swords, it's like a man laying on the ground uh, with ten swords in his back and just kind of like bleeding out dead. Um, and so what I'm seeing here is kind of that stabbed in the back energy or feeling betrayed or feeling like there's an injustice, feeling like there's something that's not fair in this situation. Um, 
you will get your justice. And whatever whatever you're feeling is an injustice. Because with the Three of Swords and Ten of Swords energy, that's hella betrayal energy, right? And I feel like you will get justice. This is putting you in a state of confusion with the Two of Swords, Two of Wands coming out together like that. Um, Princess of Swords, yeah, you're going to be the one stepping up and cutting, some, cutting off the bullshit in the end. Um, or you're going to at least become very defensive and against the bullshit. Like, you're not going to allow it in your life. Um, that's, that's that Capricorn energy, right? Um, King of Pentacles. Also, with the Princess of Swords, if this is another energy, then this could be the energy of somebody else cutting you off or, like, you getting fired or, you know... And if that is the case, because there is that betrayal energy or feeling like, what the fuck? Um, if that's the case, you are still standing in the King of Pentacles energy. You're not going to struggle to, like, make money or get a new job or, you know, move forward. Like, if it's in regards to a relationship, you're not going to struggle to, like, fall in love again <laughs> or find somebody else, right? Knight of Pentacles is showing up, too. Showing, like, new offers, new options. Things that, um, things that, you know, are better potentials for you or are more in alignment with your manifestations. Um, yeah, Nine of Swords, it's like saying, like, this is kind of like a blessing in disguise and I don't think that you realize it. It goes back to that Nine of Wands energy also, where it's like this defensive energy, like maybe, you know, you weren't dealing... Maybe this wasn't, maybe this was like a roadblock and you didn't see that. You didn't have the, the foresight to see that in the moment. Um, with the Ten of Pentacles, right, that goes back to the Nine of Pentacles. I see a lot of blessings coming your way. It's almost like an apology from the universe, <laughs> like, sorry we put you through this, but it had to happen. Princess of Cups, I do see you um, sparking the interest of new people or a new person. Um, I do see you as being somebody who, like, doesn't struggle romantically. Like, I feel like, um, I feel like, uh, like, you could be very, like, well-groomed. <laughs> I don't know, like, like a very attractive person or something because, like, it's, it, it indicates that you do have, like, people out here kind of, like, trying to get your attention, you know? Um, it's almost like an energy of people, like, compete for your attention a little bit. So, I don't feel like this loss is going to be, like, something you can't recover from, right? Two of Pentacles is showing up. Yeah, you have choices. <laughs> you have options. Um, two of Swords, Two of Wands, and Two of Pentacles tells me, or is all two, 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 you know? And that's unity. Two is the number of unity, but to the third power. That's in your mind, body, and soul, you know? Um, because I always think of three as like the Holy Trinity. The And if we take down the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, it represents like philosophy, um, science, and and spirituality, you know? And, and that's the mind, body, and soul. Um so, like, yeah, I feel like you're, you're getting peace, you're getting, you're feeling unified. Um, it can also represent partnerships, dualities, uh, polarities. You know what, I'm going to pull some um, oracles for you. I do feel like this is going to be a positive tower for you. Um... It's just kind of saying, like, just brace yourself and let shit happen because it's, it's pulling in better, you know? It's, um, it's really bringing in things that are in alignment with you because your vibrations, you're vibrating too high for these lower vibrational people, you know? That's just where it's at. You're in too much of a state of growth to stay stagnant. Right? It's saying ebb and flow, bro. <laughs> ebb and flow. Yeah. I'm telling you. Sanctuary, right? Seek sanctuary in yourself. Get that introspect. Get that, you know, 
Find that peace within yourself. I feel like you asked the universe for peace and it's like, you want peace? Here you go. <laughs> prepare for war, dude. If you want peace, prepare for war. I recommend uh, reading The Art of War. I feel like that could really be significant for your life, even if you're not a warrior, <laughs> especially if you're not a warrior. That's like, um, I think it was Bruce Lee who said it's better to be um, a warrior in the garden than a a gardener and more, you know, and I feel like, you know, you're a spiritual warrior, dude, and this is just a challenge for you, this is something to overcome, this is something to bring you in alignment with yourself and your higher purpose, you know, this is destiny main, um, but yeah, anyway, I hope this was helpful, namaste, I love you all, and I'll catch you on the next one.